Noise control sheet absorber developed by mimicking beehives. Does your dog know what you're thinking? In the absence of DNA, did heat cause the first cells to divide? I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings you the best that science offers. From exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. An Indian researchers from IIT Hyderabad have fabricated paper honeycomb and stronger polyimer honeycomb structures as sound absorbing panels that dissipate acoustic energy to low frequency ranges. The technology can be utilized in building acoustics and for noise management in the environment. The conversion of acoustic energy into vibration energy was discovered through theoretical analysis and experimental investigations. Due to the wall dampening property, this vibration energy is dissipated in the form of heat. Engineering a solution that mimics this feature could be a cost effective way to reduce noise pollution. Using biomimetics design methodology, Dr. B. Venkata Sham and Dr. Surya, faculty at IIT's Hyderabad's Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department, developed low thickness and strong acoustic panels that mimic this feature. And now let's move on to story number two. And over our long shared history, dogs have developed a range of skills for bonding with human beings. Their ability to make sense of human actions demonstrated by every sit, lay down and roll over is just one such skill. But whether dogs understand human intentions or merely respond to outcomes remains unclear. The ability to recognize another's intentions or at least conceive of them is a basic component of theory of mind. The ability to attribute mental states to oneself and others long regarded as uniquely human. Do dogs have this basic component of the theory of the mind? The ability to tell the difference between something done on purpose and something done by accident? Well, to answer this question, a team of researchers in Germany conducted an experiment that examined how dogs reacted when food rewards were withheld, both intentionally and unintentionally. Well, they found that the dogs respond differently depending on whether the actions of the experimenter were intentional or unintentional. This, the researchers say, shows that dogs can distinguish between actions that were done on purpose or accidentally. The findings of this study present important initial evidence that dogs may have at least one aspect of theory of mind, the capacity to recognize intention in action. And now let's move on to story number three. Without genetic material, how did the earlier cells divide? A new theoretical model proposed by researchers at Palais de la de Couverte in Paris suggests that heat might have been the driving force. The study is published in the biophysical journal. The cells of your body are like many molecular factories. Day and night, they encapsulate the vast array of biological and chemical reactions that are required for you to function as a human. These processes are beautifully orchestrated by biology. You don't even have to think about them. They are the silent workings of your existence. The regulation of cells, how they grow and divide, is important for their correct function and survival. In conditions such as cancer, we see how accelerated cell division can lead to disease. It is therefore important for scientists to understand the complex network of synchronized processes that drive cell division and how they have evolved. So while researching in this space, the researchers created a model that proposes how proto-cells, the ancestors of modern cells, divided. When we trace the ancestry of living organisms that inhabit our planet today, be it humans, animals, plants, fungi or algae, we all have a common ancestor. Our last unicellular common ancestor or LUCA was a cell that already contained DNA and probably a paraphernalia of enzymes and other proteins. LUCA was a product of a chemical evolution of several million years. So what processes were we? responsible for reproduction prior to LUCA. 
To answer this question, we must go down further back in time to the very beginnings of life on Earth around 3.8 to 4 million years ago. And before that, during the Hadeon Eon, the physical conditions of our planet were too hostile for any imaginable form of life. The oldest fossils known today are about 3.8 billion years old. This means we have around 200 million years of time between abiotic matter to the first known cells. Protocells are similar to the first unicellular common ancestors of FUCA. Protocells comprise a vesicle that is bound by membrane, bilayer and has a primeval form of metabolism inside. The researchers postulate that as they did not possess any genetic material or organelles, protocells must have adapted a very simple mechanism to reproduce. And what was this mechanism? A protocell must be able to reproduce before the emergence of complex molecules like RNA enzymes, cytoskeleton, etc. Therefore, the ability to split a protocell into two daughter protocells must be a purely physical process. The physical process, according to the researchers, was temperature difference. This new insight will make other research groups to reconsider the basic dogma of cell biology, which states that cells cannot function as thermal machines due to the need for their temperature to be uniform. And with that, this is a wrap on today's edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. So do watch Science Time every Friday at 9 p.m. only on India Science. Namaskar.